24-year-old Kanu Obioha is a company executive and father of three, and today he's also a pioneer in a new era of treatment for prostate cancer. I didn't want no radical procedure, uh, and I was looking for a non-invasive procedure. Kanu has been diagnosed with an intermediate stage prostate cancer. He did not want surgery or radiation or the risks of incontinence or sexual dysfunction. Today, he's undergoing a new targeted focal prostate cancer treatment called cryotherapy. Doctors carefully monitor temperatures in surrounding tissue while they zero in to freeze and kill the tumors. Cryotherapy uses hollow needles which circulate a gas which becomes extremely cold. We're talking way below zero. This destroys tissue uh, and it can be focused on the side of the prostate where tumor is located. This is done under general anesthesia in an operating room but the patients go home within an hour or two of the completion of the procedure and the complications are minimal. 72-year-old Paul Barrymore had successful cryotherapy more than six months ago. Follow-up testing shows he is cancer-free. Non-invasive. I mean, to me, that's the definition of non-invasive. If you come in and check in at 7 in the morning and 10, 10, 30, you're rolling out of here and you're not in pain or anything, I mean, <laughs> I've come to the right place. Dr. Glenn Call is a radiologist from Florida, but today he is the patient. He is undergoing another non-invasive targeted or focal treatment for prostate cancer at UCLA, High Intensity Focused Ultrasound, or HIFU. Diagnosed with intermediate grade cancer, he too wanted to avoid the risks of surgery or radiation. I like the limited scope and the fact that it could be repeated uh, later on if, if some of the tumor comes back. HIFU uses the same ultrasound used in prenatal screenings to get a detailed look at an unborn baby. In this case, the sound waves are focused directly on tiny points throughout the tumor, deploying near boiling temperatures in three second spurts. When those sound waves come to a point, heat is generated. The spot is the size of a grain of rice and through hundreds or thousands of these we move through the tumor, the treatment area, destroying it and leaving the surrounding tissues alone. Patients want this. Uh, they're the main driver, I think, for the expansion of focal therapy, is that patients uh, totally get it. They understand that uh, a lot of tumors don't need uh, a radical surgery in order to treat, and they want to preserve their quality of life. These new focal treatments are due to the recent breakthroughs in imaging that have vastly improved the biopsy of prostate cancers. UCLA is a pioneer in the fusion of MRI with real-time ultrasound to map the prostate and pinpoint the tumor target to get the most accurate sample. What we do here at UCLA is a patient-specific treatment plan. We look at their imaging data and then we look at their biopsy data uh, view them both in the exact same 3D space. And then we can treat extra where there's positive cores and we can cut back the treatment where there are negative cores, giving them truly a patient-specific optimized focal therapy plan. And these techniques are now being used to test what may be the most advanced focal or targeted treatment for prostate cancer yet, using a laser. If we can see that spot in the prostate where the cancer is located, we said to ourselves, why not put a laser fiber in using the same technology and ablate that tumor, destroy it. 61-year-old Roger Fouché was one of the first patients to have laser treatment at UCLA for his intermediate-grade prostate cancer. Three years later, no side effects, and he is cancer-free. Three years now, I have had clear biopsies in my my PSA is as low as it was when I was young. Roger is back to fishing, boating, kayaking. He loves to garden, and he will be attending his daughter's wedding later this year. I felt like it gave me another lease in life. When patients are treated with focal therapy, we do follow them very closely afterwards. They're back to their full-time jobs. We have patients who um, have been able to travel, um, spend time with their family and friends, um, keep up with their hobbies. It's amazing to me to see that we now have a effective treatment for prostate cancer that doesn't involve erectile dysfunction or incontinence. This is not for everybody, but for a large segment of the prostate cancer population, we have something that's never been available before.